Good day and welcome back to another video. In this one, honestly, just wanted to talk uh, a little bit about Final Fantasy. Kind of weird with the Warcraft channel, I know. Uh, but I actually play Final Fantasy a lot. I played it as of recently as of the last expansion. Dawn Trail, I believe, has just released. And firstly, I don't have a lot of issues with the game. Well, some issues, but nothing too wild. Uh, the main problems I have and why I stopped playing, I'll talk about. But realistically speaking, you know, for me, I don't think the two games are comparable. A lot of people like to compare the games. I don't think there is a grounds for comparing the games at all. Uh, there's really no reason to compare the games at all. And I think a lot of people do that very foolishly. I think the games are intrinsically designed in different ways. And for me, I find enjoyment from them in different ways. Now, to talk about why I stopped Final Fantasy, because that's uh, the point of the video, and will I ever go back? The thing is, for me, like functionally looking at Final Fantasy, the main reason I stopped is because for me, Final Fantasy is an incredibly good game. But it is a game that if I don't have, you know, how can I say, a ton of, like, investment in or friends playing, it's very hard for me to pick up the game. The story is really well done and I find it super entertaining. But a lot of the reason why I had to stop was because as someone who just had their son, as someone who... You know, took on a new job, who started doing a YouTube kind of part-time and everything, it became very difficult to dedicate two or three hours to sitting down and being able to do the story. Now, I managed after some time to do the story for the last expansion, and I will say, the way they make the game is so that you don't have to panic about the time it takes you to do things for most things. Barring some seasonal events and that, a lot of the times they will look back at events, make things easier, enable players to take part in events. So there isn't, like I will give to the credit of the game, it's not the game's pressure, I think that causes me to feel that way. For me, it was looking at my usage of time. Now, when I play with Warcraft, a lot of the times I have the ability to jump in and out to kind of more enjoyable content. I'm not saying it's comparable level, I jump into things like heroic raids, normal raids, I pug, I pug a lot of Mythic Plus, uh, I do a lot of content like that, and to a certain level I'm able to do it with relative just, hey, hop in, hop out, enjoy yourself kind of vibes. The savage raiding scene in Final Fantasy was very difficult for me to get into. Uh, the guilds that I joined always tend to, tended to fall apart. It was a very difficult experience. Now, I will say, a lot of it I think is to do with the community you surround yourself with. World of Warcraft, for better or worse, has become a lot easier to play without having to interact with people. So, I mean, dungeons, raids, don't necessarily need you to always fully interact. Between things like DBM, raid shouts, and just kind of being told what to do, a lot of the times, even pugging things like normal and heroic amounts to having one person tell you what to do. Everyone does it and wins, or people don't and they lose. Heroic or savage raiding in the Final Fantasy scene, and obviously things like ultras and ultimates, require a little bit more coordination and can be a lot more trial and error. The WoW community traditionally gives up quite significantly. In Final Fantasy, that's not super possible because a lot of it comes from your group stemming to practice together. Because a lot of the times your group has to do specific group movements, it's more like a choreographed dance than it is a sporadic kind of hellfire of responding to mechanics that World of Warcraft can be. So I found a lot of the time my savage groups, my raiding parties would just kind of fall apart, and this was kind of limiting the content that I could do. Uh, I'm not someone that has to do the hardest content all the time but I do like a level of content that I do in World of Warcraft. Traditionally you'll find me just below things like uh, mythic raiding. For example I, I like heroic. Like I'll do heroic 
A lot of the times I'll try to get my head of the curve. Generally, I'll call it there. Mythic Plus, I'll get to like my 1-500 rating uh, and I'll call it there. These are generally speaking the levels to which I play. In Final Fantasy, I found that I was stuck with doing normal raids, which are very much the equivalent of LFR, if not worse. And it wasn't holistically a super enjoyable experience for me. I didn't have a terrible time. I just found that I was relying a lot on the social aspects of the game. And I think that's great. I'm not going to lie to you. The social aspects were a ton of fun. But the issue I have with some of the social aspects is that if you have a bad guild or things fall apart, then it becomes very lonely. My friends stopped playing. The story became very tedious to play entirely on my own without being able to work or relate with anyone. Uh, and yeah, just the experience itself was not holistically super enjoyable. I'm not blaming the game for that. I think if I had friends that were playing Final Fantasy, like a group of friends, I probably would partake in playing it a lot more. I had friends that changed server, I had friends that moved away, and I think the community, like I mentioned, is such a big part of that game that it was such an inf like an inference upon me that it really affected the way I could play the game. Now, with World of Warcraft, I have friends leave all the time, but the thing is, I'm able to kind of pug along and jump in and out of things a lot more. There's also a classic, there's different ways for me to play, depending on how I feel like. It's also, to be honest with you, a lot less daunting to return to World of Warcraft. For better or worse, catcher mechanics are way more rampant in World of Warcraft. A lot of the times it isn't great, but also for a person like me, or for people who are, are like me, who are fathers or parents or people who struggle to regularly play or maybe end up taking breaks or things like that, I think the ability to, yeah, to kind of switch in and out is good. Uh, and I think it does make a huge significant difference to being able to continue playing the game. The most daunting thing for me now in returning to Final Fantasy is having to do the patch quests between the last expansion and the current one. I could skip all the cutscenes. I could probably do it in you know five or six hours by just skipping everything, but I don't want to. If the story is such a crucial part, I've always disliked that aspect of skipping the story or watching something later or anything like that. So yeah, for me, there's nothing wrong with the game. Uh, I really do like the game. Much as I like World of Warcraft, I love them for different reasons. But if I'm being honest, I don't know if I'll go back. I would probably need my friends or people to just play with me. I would need people to intrinsically play the game. Like with me, I'd have to get a group together. I think that's the only way I could see myself playing Final Fantasy again. It's a great game. I've heard great stuff about Dawn Trail. I do have one or two friends, the ones that have changed server, who are still playing it. They are having a wonderful time. So if you are playing it, I'd love to hear what it's like. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions on it. I just wanted to do this video because I've seen a lot of the stuff about it. Good day and welcome back to another video. In this one, 